Kevin, you get traded over here last year, and certainly there was a, a level of success that you had, and a lot of people attributed that pitching out of the stretch. What did that do for you last year, and is that something we'll see consistently in 2019? Yeah, you know, I think more than anything, it just kind of simplified things. Um, you know, I started pitching, you know, a couple starts in the season. I started pitching uh, out of the windup with my hands going over my head. And so, you know, there was a lot of things that I was I was trying, you know. I was searching for that consistency. And, um, you know, I think maybe just simplifying it made it a little bit easier. And so, uh, you know, pitching out of the stretch allowed me to kind of stay back longer. And, um, you know, I got to a point where I wasn't really worried about, uh, you know, my time's played. I was holding runners pretty well, so um, it was something that I think just kind of got everything in line and, um, you know, obviously had a little bit to do with my success. Tyler Flowers obviously made an impact on you last year, but now you've got two guys to influence you this year, Brian McCann and Rick Kranitz. Start off with the McCann. What did, what did you know about him as a catcher, having talked to other pitchers about working with him? Yeah, I mean, I've faced him a lot, you know, and he was with New York for a while. I faced him a ton and, and even in Houston I faced him a good bit and so um, you know I've, I've faced him on the other side but I um, always respected him as a as a player you know I think he does things the right way uh, especially being a guy behind the plate who's you know one of the leaders of the team you can you know from the other side you could kind of always see that and so uh, looking forward to getting to know him um, you know I know a couple of guys on the Astros that throw to him and you know, say that he's you know going to be my favorite teammate I've ever had, and so uh, you know that's uh, that's one thing you just continue to hear about him is not only his his talent level, but you know the type of person he is, and I think the Braves do a really good job of bringing in quality people. You're obviously closer there in Nola, and Rick Kranitz comes in here. What did you know about Kranitz, and what maybe having seen Nola's success, are you excited about? Yeah, you know, um, talked to Nola a lot about him. Uh, speaks nothing but great things about him, and. Um, you know, said he kind of got him on track. And so, uh, you know, looking forward to working with him uh, in this short time I've been with him so far. He, he seems awesome and great, um, you know, very, uh, you know, keeps it light. But, but you can tell, you know, he's really serious about what he does. And so uh, I think a lot of these young guys are really going to benefit from him. He said it's sometimes as simple as just, you know, getting to know that pitcher's strengths and, and being able to build a game plan around that. When guys nowadays want to bring in analytics to that, is there a balance there you think that a guy like that can bring? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I think it's all about trying to trying to figure out a way to get these guys out. And, you know, um, there's no one answer to it. So uh, you know, that's one thing the Braves did a really good job of when I got traded was saying, hey, we, we don't want you necessarily to pitch to the strengths of, of other pitchers. We want you to pitch to the strengths of, of, of yourself. And so, uh, you know, um, that, was, that was a big difference for me. And told me to pitch up more in the zone and, and uh, you know, throw my breaking ball for strikes early in the count. And, uh, you know, it sounds redundant, but get ahead. And, um, you know, that, uh, you know, something clicked in, in what they said to me. And so, um, but yeah, you know, it's always a, a fine line between, um, you know, using that stuff and also relying on um, your human eye. You know, uh, I've faced a lot of hitters before. And, you know, if I see something in a swing, uh, I'm going to go with my instincts, not necessarily the scouting report or, you know, that he doesn't do well against spin rate, breaking balls, you know, those types of things. So, uh, you know, that's kind of the battle.